you guys get married and you go to play pro, pro ball. Yeah. Um, you weren't pregnant at that time, right? No, I was grinding hard. Right, right. Let's 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 before we talk about Curtis though, let's talk about you at that time. Let's talk about everything that you know, just on a personal level, of uh some things that you were doing and uh like you were going through at that time. So after becoming a newlywed, um, right. we were actually going through the different things of like. What what do you want to do in life? Like, where do you want to go? How do you want to do this? And my thing was, I want to pursue my hair. I want to do hair. So I'll pick that up. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Like, I would, it was just more so like, I was in life of trying to make a lot of fast money. My life was like, I want all these things. I want to, before I have a baby, before we have a house, before we do this, let's do this. You want to do this? I want to do this. So I didn't really have a real direction. It was more so like, I was working corporate America. I picked up a second job. And I was doing hair. And to me, I was on a mission. I was happy where I was at. Um, but in reality, I wasn't happy where I was at because I was in a place where I was meeting people who was like, who are you? And I'm like, who are you? And they're like, I own this place. And I'm like, wait, hold on. Tell me how you own this. How did you get here? What did you do to get here and do this? So at this point of time, I'm just now becoming a sponge. At first, I went in life thinking I knew everything. So right after I got married, I seen where Curtis' point of view in life, where he come from, his different stories and things of that kind. And I was just sitting there trying to figure out how can I build a, a real solid foundation? How can we be the next somebody? So I just was working, 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 working. I didn't, like I said, have no sense of direction. And then he was like, I got an opportunity to go to Mexico. And I'm like, oh, wait, hold on. He got like, you know, it's made me want to go harder and things of that kind. So I was just playing the the wife role, making sure that we had everything that we need and that we were going to get everything that we wanted with no sense of direction, no plan. And he's a planner. So that was a problem. Right. Yes. It was not working out for him. So here we go in the beginning of our marriage, hitting brick walls. Right. Yeah, let me speak on that. So yeah. <laughs> so like she said, she was she was into I wanna do this, I wanna do that. And I'm I'm more so of a planner, like, all right, let's make a plan, let's you know, execute this plan, finish this before we do this. So we was uh I'd say moving fast at the time. Right after we got married, um, like she said, right after we got married we moved back to Michigan. We actually uh, invested our money to uh, a property, and um, that's when we bought a house in Detroit, Michigan. We lived there for two years, uh, at, right after we got married. And at the time, we was doing we we were new to the game, so we trying to fast. trying to figure out the real estate, trying to rebuild a home at the same time, still figuring each other out, and trying to build a savings account while still working in corporate America. And I'm still trying to run my side business. So at that time, we was young still in our early 20s moving fast and but it was again i was um in the middle of doing my business and doing the real estate and she like i'm working on a house like i'm doing everything in my power to make sure that this house is the house right and then one day i'm like this is not it mm -hmm. this is not I'm sorry, like, yep. I just literally like just woke up and like, we this, invested. like, I know, I, like, I personally will always, like, why am I moving? So, I never sat down to think about what I was doing. So I finally was like, you know, watching him and see how he was organizing things. And one day in the shower, I just got out like, listen, we invested all this money, but I feel like we need to go back to Texas. We got better opportunities. Yep. And I didn't think he was going to go for it. I was ready for he it. He said, oh, word. <laughs> we said, we, we out of here. We left the house. Everybody was like, wait, where are you selling the house? What you doing with the house? What you doing? Da, da, da. And we really didn't care. So in the process of us dropping everything here, we had planned our whole, what we was about to go to Texas to do. Yep. We did it together. Versus him having a plan and I have a plan. We then was just sitting in our new abandoned house. One side with the lights, one side with the roof, the other side without the roof. Like, like what would we have done here? We got to get up out of here. We then packed up our car again and left. We went to Texas and everything was lined up. To our apartment, to our jobs, to everything that we ever thought that we was going to have an issue getting. It was already set up. We, we took time. It just made sense. It just made sense. 
So from there, opportunities start coming. Like, wh hey, you went to Michigan, you bought a house, how did that go? Because I'm trying to build this. So you hearing other people, how eager they are to invest in their plans and what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, I was in a gym with Tyler Ralph, and I was in a gym with these people. And I'm like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That is the business. We going to... We are, this is what we're going to do. You're going to spend your time over here. You can go to Timbuktu, to Africa, Jamaica, wherever you have to go. I'm willing to sacrifice if that's what's going to take us to get where we got to be. Meanwhile, don't get mad at me if I, I had girls night over at home or if I'm having fun over here because I'm still doing what I'm doing. So that was a challenge for us because he's being serious, playing basketball. We would move back to Texas. And I'm over here living my best life. Um, yes, I'm still working. Yes, I'm doing things of that kind. But now he's getting frustrated because he's like, hold on. I'm doing all this stuff and you're not working as hard. How are we going to have a foundation if you lollygagging and playing? And I'm like, you know, I'm not lollygagging and playing. And is this is this before or after no, he this is, to play pro ball? This is during that time. During so that while time. he's over there and um, he didn't went to El Salvador. Right. He didn't went to Mexico. Yeah, I didn't went to Mexico and lived there for a couple of months and had, you know, the Oh meetings. you so you went to Mexico. We I went to Mexico. You like you like I'm coming. I, I went to Mexico. I you like where I'm coming. I worked. <laughs> I took my laptop. I worked in Mexico and I got to see, okay, he really out here playing basketball. He's really out here trying to find opportunities. Like everything that we were doing was like pure and at the same time. He's traveling. He's he's living his best life. And as a friend, I'm like, you do that shit, bro. Like, let's go. And now here we are with Murthy Lee training as a real business because he didn't explore the world and have these opportunities. And seeing him have his empire is motivating me to want to have my empire because I'm not trying to sit in the background. And and he's a great motivator.